Time now for business. Kate Moody is here. The British government's trying to contain the damage from this weekend's announcement that Nissan, the car manufacturer, is pulling out of a major investment in northeastern England. Yeah, absolutely. The car maker said over the weekend uh, that it would be moving production of its new X-Trail model back to Japan, citing Brexit uncertainty as one of the reasons. Now, a letter released this Monday, but written back in 2016, shows that the government had promised to protect Nissan from any fallout linked to the UK's exit from the EU and offered some 91 million euros in financial support. This in an effort to secure future production at Nissan's plant in Sunderland, where some 700 jobs are now at stake. Prime Minister Theresa May was planning a conference call with some 50 bosses of major international companies this Monday to try and reassure them that a withdrawal deal is within reach. But Nissan's announcement on the heels of similar warnings from Jaguar Land Rover could spell trouble for Britain's auto industry and the country's manufacturing sector as a whole. The impact will be staggering. You've got to remember, it's not just 7,000 employees at Nissan. You're talking 30,000 plus employees that feed in to, to Nissan and subsidiary, subsidiary businesses around the area. And people, if job losses, you start to see job losses, you start to see impact on smaller businesses. You know, the, the impact really, if that was to happen, potentially could be catastrophic. Meanwhile, business between Japan and the European Union has gotten easier after their free trade deal. To